All right, here we go. This is going to be your uh, first time designing, well, at least for most of you, uh, any of your 3D parts uh, using a CAD software. So in this case, we're going to use what's called Autodesk Inventor. And it's going to be this large eye. It's kind of orangish or yellow in color on your desktop. Um, you just want to go ahead and click and open that. Your first time using Autodesk may take a little longer for it to open since it's in a creative profile for you. Hopefully for me, it doesn't take too long. Okay, so once Autodesk opens up, you have options of what to open. We're, we can either make a part file, an assembly, drawing, or a presentation. Since we haven't made anything yet, we're going to start with a part file. So we can click part right here, or if we're not in this main info screen, if we're just on the blank screen right here, you can go to New. And under New, you can, uh, well, let's see, I'm just going to click on New, and it's going to give me all the options of what I can open. Again, here's the part. It's called standard IPT, but that is a part file. We have assembly, drawing, presentation, and so on. We want standard IPT, so I'm just going to double click on it, and it's going to open up a and what's called an inventor part file. Once that opens, the first thing we need to do is start a sketch. Now we're going to be making some kind of a Lego piece, uh, or sorry, not Lego piece, a cube piece, something from your puzzle. So I'm going to just, uh, let's go with this. I'm going to say I have this. Um, the calendar has now ended. Please head to the gymnasium. I'm going to say I'm making this piece right here. If you can see that, what that kind of looks like. It's on different levels. It's not just one flat piece. Okay, it's going to take me a couple different steps to make that. So in order to make that piece, I'm going to go to Sketch, Start the Sketch. Has ended. Please make your way to the gymnasium. Sorry, you. sorry if you're hearing the announcements. It's the first day of campus on campus for the ninth graders. This is fall 2018. So they're learning their way around so they're doing a big scavenger hunt. Okay, once I hit Start for the 2D sketch, it's going to open up these three planes. And I can choose one to work on. And I usually select this. This is the XY plane. You also have the YZ plane and the XZ plane. So I'm just going to choose the XY. It's not a big deal if you choose one of the others. Okay. That now put a grid on here so I can make stuff. So I'm going to come up here to rectangle and I'm going to start making the first part of this piece. So I'm going to choose rectangle. I'm going to come down and I'm going to click and drag it across. Oh, sorry, I clicked and released. And I'm going to click again. And that made a rectangle. Now I'm still in rectangle. You can see it's still highlighted. So now I'm going I'm to start from this corner. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drag down. And I'm going to click again because that's another piece of this part that I'm going to want also. And it'll all, you'll see it all once I get it together. So we're going to go to dimension because we have to make sure that's all the right size. Now what you need to know about your parts for this cube is that you're going to be making them out of wood blocks like this. These wood blocks are three quarters of an inch on each side. So we need to make sure our dimensions are all either three quarters of an inch, one and a half inches, or 2.25 inches, depending on if it's one cube, two cubes, or three cubes. So we're going to go to a dimension. And I'm going to click on this line and pull away and click again and say that, hey, I want that to be 0.75 inches. And it defaults to inches. Um, most of the computers default to inches. If yours doesn't, we'll fix it. Uh, I'm going to click on this guy, and I wanted it to be two cubes which is going to be 0.75 times 2, which is, uh, those of you that are good at math, was 1.5. But it did the math for us if we want to type it in like that. It's totally up to you. And for this last one, I want to give it the full length of this side over here. So I'm going to say, hey, from this top line all the way down to this bottom line, and it's going to give me the dimension between those two, it's going to be 3 cubes long. So again, I could say 0.75 times 3, or if you know the math, it's going to be 2.25 and we'll say okay now there's still one dimension missing and hopefully you see it it's going to be right here and we need to make sure that that also is 0.75 because it's a single cube width okay that is our base sketch that's what we're going to start with now it's only two dimensional at this point we need to add that third dimension to bring it up and in design that's usually called an extrusion so we need to now go from sketch to 3d model and we're going to extrude this. So when I click Extrude, I'm going to zoom back out by spinning the dial on the mouse. I'm going to click that section, and I'm going to click that section. And we don't want to hit OK yet, 
because it defaulted to one inch in height, and that's not what we're working with. Remember, we're using a three quarter inch cube. So we need to make sure the height of this thing is also three quarters of an inch. And now it is, and we'll say, okay, there's our base piece. So if you're looking at the part I'm trying to make, that is the base of it right there. Now I just need to make these other two pieces that come up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to start 2D sketch, and I need to choose which face I want to design on now. Well, I want to design right on this face here. So I'm going to click. And what it does is it just put a grid on that face for me. And I'm going to make a rectangle. And I'm going to say, hey, I want it to go from this corner right here. See how it turned green when I got to the corner? That means it's going to lock onto the corner. And I want it to come to a right about there. And I'm going to go to dimension. And I'm going to say this is supposed to be one cube wide, which is 0.75 enter and this should be two cubes wide which is 1.5 enter and now the rectangle looks like that and again we're going to go 3d model extrude and we're going to select that it's going to come up and it's it selected 0.75 now because that's what i changed it to last time so it knows and i'm going to hit ok and we now have a part design that looks very similar to what we have right here Okay, now because you're going to have something like four or five or six different parts for your cube when you assemble it, you want to make each one a different color. So what we can do is we can take this guy and we can go up to uh, the color wheel where it says appearance right here. <clears throat> oh, sorry. If we do that one, it's going to add a textured appearance. I'm going to go ahead and close that, which you're welcome to do if you prefer. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to this little color wheel right here called adjust. And maybe I'll pick pink. And uh, I want to select the whole thing. Let's see. How do I get it to select the whole part? All right. Stay tuned. I'll be right back with that. Okay. So I did resume. So I'm sorry. It was in between the two. We actually want to select right here where it says default. And if we click on that, we can change it to all these different types of materials in here. So, for example, maybe red. Or maybe you wanted something, and I'm not sure why it's not showing the whole thing. Uh, what's this gold? Okay. So you have lots of different options in here for colors. And I'll show you some fun ones. If you go to Indoor Pool, it's now translucent, which means you can see through it a bit. And there's also some that are listed under Clear. So you have clear, clear blue, clear green, and, uh, and they look a little different. They're translucent also. So go ahead and select a color for yours. If you want translucent, you can. Otherwise, just pick something that's opaque, that's like solid color. And once you've got that, we're going to go ahead and save it. So we'll click File. And we're going to say Save As. You never want to just click Save, because if you do, it's going to save it as Part 1, which what does that even mean? Once you get into Save As, you want to make sure you're in your documents. And what you can do is if you click here, you can go down and find out, uh, is it your name? So here's mine because I'm logged in. Your name should be listed in there also. You want to make sure you save it into your, your stuff. Um, and then when you do, uh, you're probably going to want to create a folder. So if you click this little create new folder, and you're going to want to create cube project. And then save all your pieces in there. So you may save this as green piece. And you can call it part one if you want. Just make sure all your parts have a different, unique name. Um, so I would say green piece, red piece, blue piece, those probably be good names for them. So go ahead and save it. And now you're done with that part and go ahead and build the rest of your parts. Good luck.